Namaste. My name is Lloyd Gambali. I completed grade 7 and I'm going on to grade 8. So every day I wanted to learn more and more new things. I'm very happy to share this knowledge with all of you guys. I hope you like it and now let's begin. So what is this Big Bang Theory? No one really knows for sure how the universe began, but there is a theory that it all began with an enormous explosion. This is called the Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, around 15,000 million years ago, an enormous explosion took place, which made an incredibly hot but small fireball. The fireball started to cool down and form really tiny pieces called particles. These particles are the building blocks of our universe. Now, everything in the universe is made up of them. Now, uh, this TV, the rocket, the piano, everything is made up of them. The particles started to spread out and the universe began to expand. The earliest galaxies. The fireball started to cool even and even more until it formed gases which collected into dense particles. These particles started to become more and more dense until stars formed and the earliest galaxies were born. Our solar system, about 10,000 million years after the Big Bang, the sun formed. Vast clouds whirling around the sun were nothing but the planets and the moons of our solar system. Now, parts of the universe are still coming from the dense crumbs of gas. The Big Bang. The Big Bang explosion was so great that the universe is still expanding. People say, or, or scientists say, that the universe is going to expand forever. And if that happened, everything would fade in and the universe would just become a mist of cold particles. There's also a theory that the uni uh, force called expansion is going to slow down the expansion and bring everything together, like all the galaxies are going to come together. This is called the Big Crunch. Bang, crunch, bang. There's also a theory that the universe is going to expand, then come together, then expand again. So a big bang can be followed by a big crunch and a big bang again. How do we know? Scientists are convinced that the big bang theory is correct because enough, enough evidence or echo in space have given a faint signal. They believe this echo is from the big bang explosion. Now, thanks for watching. I hope you like my video. And if you like my video, please like the video and subscribe and ring that bell button for more and more exciting videos.